Hi, it's Ray. Summertime means one thing to me, grilling. And grilling to me means steak. So whether you're grilling a ribeye steak, a strip steak, a filet mignon, or any other type of steak, the technique is pretty much the same. It's really simple. Let me show you how to do it. First, make sure when you get those steaks out of your freezer or out of your refrigerator, you thaw them. Then take them out of that refrigerator and get them on a plate and let them get to room temperature. Just while that's happening, season very generously. Now you can use whatever seasoning you prefer. For me, it's salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. And you want to season very generously on both sides of that steak and let rest for 30 more minutes to get to room temperature. Now I've got my steak seasoned and they're at room temperature. High heat, that's what I want to hear, that sizzle. About four to five minutes on one side, then we're gonna flip and do the same thing on the other side, four to five minutes. By searing that steak, we create a beautiful crust on one side and when we flip, we'll create that same beautiful crust on the outside. After just four minutes or so, we're ready to flip. And in another four minutes, we're gonna have the same caramelization on this side. So once we've got our steak seared on both sides with that high heat, all I'm gonna do is move them over to my low heat area of my grill. That will begin to help to cook from the inside out with that beautiful caramelization on the outside. You can be ready for the perfect steak. For that perfect temperature, don't be afraid to use a thermometer. It makes for the perfect temperature just the way you like it. So once you've got your steaks to your desired doneness, put them on your resting tray. Now, make sure that you take your foil and you cover that resting tray. That will ensure your steaks to be juicy and tender. After about five minutes or so, remove the foil, cut the steak, and enjoy. Perfect every time.